Tesco, you will be missed. All right, guys, the coolest, craziest thing just happened. So I'm walking along and I find a watermelon vendor and then a really nice young girl, young lady, stops beside me on a scooter and offers me a ride to the airport. And I said, you know, like, even with all this weight on and she was like totally fine with it. So I rode the scooter most of the way, didn't even end up walking that far. Um, and I tried to pair and she wouldn't accept anything, like just out of the goodness of her heart. And I, like, wow, like I, I couldn't believe it. Like I was riding on the scooter, wind in my hair, um, just amazing. And you know, people like that, we need more of them. So I'm crashing in the airport, homeless man style. Good night, homies. Good morning. Last night, falling asleep wasn't too bad. As soon as all the crying babies left, I'm not kidding about that. There were at least two crying babies that were totally losing it screaming to the top of the lungs. Luckily, earplugs. I got my nice quilt my grandma sewed me to keep me warm. I'm gonna take the train into town now and get on with my day. But not before I have some muesli. China. Alright, so I'm in China now. Um, I met my driver there when I walked through the gate. Everything was fine. You know, finally my name was on the sign. It's weird because people like stare at me and point at me and um, you know, you get that feeling when you can feel people's eyes on you. Uh, I have that all the time. Um, so it's kind of, it's kind of cool. <laughs> a little bit of a push, push and the uh, I guess out of the comfort zone of just kind of slipping through the crowd. Um, you can't do that here. This is um, the famous stinky tofu, Yang Shao. So uh, we got some brave <laughs> souls here. We're gonna try it out. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Definitely edible. Yeah. Not so, maybe it's stinks, I wish it wasn't because it'd be a better video, but... Yeah, yeah. but it's not too stinky. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> and me, I've got authentic yeah. rice noodles handmade. These noodles are hands down the best noodles I've ever had. They're so good. Right? It's, yeah. It's, we all agree, and it's amazing what handmade noodles, like fresh, it, the difference is unbelievable. I'm on top of the world. vegetarian dinner that Buckland has prepared for all the teachers and it's like a two hour long event where we go through the different stages of different foods to eat based on like health and so we start with fruit go on to raw veggies and then soup um, then cooked veggies then starches and then dessert and so right now we're doing fruit I've got my bowl in there let's take a look at what we got 
watermelon, dragon fruit, grape, fruit salad, apples, bananas, um, passion fruit, same thing here, melon, um, these lychee fruit things, I'm not sure what they're called, and yeah, everybody sitting down. Second course, raw veggies. Oh yeah. Salad time. Okay, so we're on to the soup now. This is Chinese yam soup. Very good for the throat, supposedly. Not something like, I'd be like, wow, this tastes amazing, but like, it's kind of cool that it's good for you, and yeah, I'll drink it, because, you know, I love that health stuff. All right, you know I got it all. We got okra, eggplant, tofu, more okra, green peas. This is wax gordon, lotus root, and then just leftovers of the previous course. Here we've got the starch. So, like like the mountain. Yellow potato, yeah. corn, oh, in Young Show. Mashed potato. Potato mountain. Sweet potato. potato. Mountain. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you order food in China. Thank you. We are at the bullet train station. Look at that. Wow. You won't be able to see the sign up there, but it says almost 250 kilometers an hour right now. And it doesn't really feel like much, but it's pretty cool to know. Just flying through the mountains. And there is Sinan, folks. Guizhou province. <laughs>